Well, my name is Arthur Stahovsky. My job took me to China first and decided I had better learn a little bit about the country and the people if I was going to be successful in my job. My name is Kieta Walker-Parker, and I'm from the Alabama A&M University's Confucius Institute. We had the opportunity to kind of get to meet the people, and they were from China, and they were just as excited to learn about American culture as I was to learn about Chinese culture. My name is Javi Chandola, and my Confucius Institute is the University at Buffalo Confucius Institute. I like the learning community, and I like learning new things about China and Chinese culture. I'm Frida Niebla, and I'm from the Confucius Institute at San Diego State University. My Confucius Institute is an organization that allowed me to grow my career and learn a language that I wouldn't have learned otherwise. My name is Dean Zolman. The Confucius Institute is at Kansas State University. My Confucius Institute is a group of people who have a common interest in understanding cultures and language and bringing people together under that banner. My name is Olga Pangstein and I'm from Confucius Institute at Pace University. I became involved because I decided that it's time for me to learn the language of my parents. My name is Carly O'Connell and I used the William and Mary Confucius Institute in college and the George Washington University Confucius Institute after college. The great thing about the Confucius Institute community is it follows you wherever you go. I run into old classmates at Confucius Institute events and old colleagues and it's been really great. My name is Jared Solberg, and then my Confucius Institute is the St. Cloud State University. My Confucius Institute is important to me because it provides a, a way to gather and a way to learn about other cultures, and in particular, the Chinese culture. My name is Sharon Dang, and I'm from San Diego State University Confucius Institute. Barnard Elementary School just happened to have a Confucius Institute program that offered so much support than any other immersion program that I could find in San Diego. Hi, my name is Ava, and I go to Barnard Elementary School. My favorite part of learning Chinese is you can go to China and you can talk. My name is Michael Briggs and I study at the Confucius Institute at William & Mary. My youngest brother, he's adopted from China, but I didn't speak any Chinese. No one in my family spoke any Chinese. And so that really pushed me to try to learn more. I think the Confucius Institute really offers an opportunity to really learn and immerse yourself in learning Chinese in a really fun and interactive way. All of this you can get in a book, I'm, I'm sure, but you won't have that people to people, that person to person perspective in a book. It's really easy to have misconceptions about people if you don't actually know the people. Being able to go to China, I was able to bury a lot of those misconceptions that I had about the Chinese country, the Chinese culture, and the Chinese people. Knowing more about it means it's less mystical, and therefore it's less to be afraid of. Through education, through this exchange, through understanding people, understanding their language and culture, we can understand better their motivations their aspirations, we can understand their troubles, and we also can communicate our own feelings. I think Americans should learn Chinese because I think it's a very complex yet very culture-rich language, and I think it just makes uh, the individual a global citizen. We live in a globalized society where China and America are both major players, and it's really important for us to understand each other and respect each other and know where each other are coming from. And so now I want to actually go to grad school in China and work there, at least for a few years. I don't know how long. It's really changed a lot of my view on the world and also my hopes for my future, what I want to do. My Confucius Institute is opportunity and growth. I think I love it because it's challenging, number one. Without the Confucius Institute, I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't be so confident about public speaking. They open doors to anyone who's interested in learning the culture and the language. My Confucius Institute is a place where anyone can feel welcome. Give it a try because you'll ne you never know what what experiences you'll have and what opportunities you'll gain from it. It is my second family. It is my neighborhood. It is the place where I go and write the characters and look at the characters. This is the only time I can do that. 
I love that. And this is where I can say I'm really Chinese. You need to keep your mind open. You need to experience and see what else is out there in the world.